just recording this video guys um to show you guys the real hold on let me just put in like putting this on something so it stays so I can record but um you know these these tears are real you know I get frustrated every day dealing you know with my my health I apologize my text has come through on my computer but um you know like these past you know like well, for the longest time I've been struggling, but it just seems to be getting worse and worse, you know. I see my regular doctor and my specialist on a regular basis, and, you know, I get put on numerous amounts of medication, and, you know, and the crazy thing is, you know, like, I don't feel any different, like... The pain is still there. The constant muscle spasms are still there. You know, like, I don't think people really understand, like, how it feels to be in, in pain every day. And it could be in one place one day and somewhere totally different the next. And it's just... It's so frustrating, you know, with a lot of people, you know, they assume because, you know, I don't have a walker or a wheelchair or, you know, like, I, I do have a walker and a wheelchair, wheel, you know, a walker and a cane that I can use, <laughs> but it's just, like, I'm 29 years old, who wants to be using them at 29 years old? <laughs> You know, so I go through the day of my own power, you know, and and it's just been getting so hard lately, and I don't think people really understand that, you know, there are a lot of invisible diseases, you know, it, people look at me and they don't assume that, that I'm sick, you know, they think that I'm totally fine, but it's, you know, like, like I said, these these tears are real. <laughs> you know, it's just depressing to go through every day like that. And, you know, it's like even lately, you know, it's been hard to walk up and down the stairs. You know, I've been limit, limiting my travels up and down the stairs because I don't want to fall. <laughs> because the pressure on my my body on my legs is a lot, you know, and it's like, I shouldn't even be, f be feeling like this, you know, ever since I've been sick, you know, I used to be 145 pounds, I was very active, and, you know, like, just walking to the mailbox every day can be a task in itself, Like, you know, even today, I've been up since 9 this morning, and I haven't done much today because I physically can't, you know, and I don't think people really understand how bad my body be hurting. Like, like, like I really don't think people truly understand. You know, and then it doesn't help that I can't work. I've been waiting three years for disability. I got denied, I think, once or twice. And I'm still waiting. It's just so frustrating. And I just want people to know that. You know, there are people out there like me who are sitting here trying to get help and can't get it because people assume because I'm only 29, I'm supposed to be at the prime, the prime of my life. And, and I've been feeling my, my, this is the worst I've ever felt in my life. 
I think I would rather go through childbirth many times because it's the pain stops after a while. This pain is constant. And I try to smile every day to cover it. But half the time, this is all I want to do because the pain hurts so bad. You know, like, people just, you know, like, I think people think I'm just, just trying to have a, a hand out, you know, and it's nothing like that. If anything, I'm, I'm the person who likes to give help. And it's just, I don't know, it's so frustrating. It's so frustrating. But I just wanted to show you guys this video just to bring awareness that, you know, there are people out there like me who deal with this chronic pain. You know, I, I've been diagnosed with fibromyalgia, chronic pain syndrome. I have traces of, of lupus in my blood. And I've been most recently diagnosed with osteoarthritis in my hips and stuff. And I'm not supposed to be going through, through this right now. But definitely, definitely don't take family members or friends, you know, um, pain and them talking to you about it. Don't take it for granted <laughs> because it is, it's real. It is so real. <laughs> you know, I'm sitting here talking to you guys. I can feel my back spasming against the wall <laughs> and it hurts. <laughs> You know, and you can only take so many pain, pain medications or, you know, a weird tend unit. You can only do so much. You know, um, I recently just got my pain prescription changed because I've been taking Vicodin for so long that it doesn't even work anymore. And it's like, that should tell you something, like. You know, I've been taking pain medication for so long that my body got immune to it. But I was still having pain every day. I have to take muscle relaxers just to go to sleep. If I don't take them, I can stay up for days. You know, nobody should have to take muscle relaxers just to go to sleep. You know? And when I don't, you know, like, when I try to go to sleep without them, I feel like... You know, like the restless body syndrome because my muscles are constantly moving. But I just wanted to post this video to show awareness that this stuff is real. I don't even think most of my family have seen me like this. But I just wanted to show you guys that it's real. You know, please share this video and, you know, just to bring awareness that, you know, chronic pain and stuff is, is real.